Hello, welcome back to the Selling Dan. So I'm here today in a very, very cold unit. <gasps> Bit of... Oh, it's cold. It's cold. Anyway, uh, so what's sold this weekend? So I quite like doing these. Quite good. Uh, quite a few items. So in total, I'm 21 items in. Some nice little bit of profit, and also some stuff going to some subscribers, so I'm quite happy. One has already been shipped, but I'll get Amy to put the picture on. One's also too big, I'll get Amy to put the picture on. About here, Amy. But I'll get to them at the end. Um, really nice weekend, actually. Lovely weekend. I didn't actually go picking this weekend, but as I've been saying in multiple videos, I have that much stuff to be going through, and I've also been sorting the garage uh, out to try and make it so everything's a bit more accessible and... I'll do a bit of a reveal video once it's finally done. It's taken me a while, just finding time, but I'm nearly there, so I'm I'm, uh, I'm getting there. I'm quite happy. Some large items have sold, which is, which always help. Um, so we'll get straight into it. So, first one is a Bose Solo TV uh, system, and I'll get that now. So it's this one. Again, quite a large item. So it's just a, like, it goes up underneath the TV, I think. So it comes with a remote instructions and the cables are there as well but i'll find that out in a second once we get ready so in total when i bought these in the hundred pound bundle oh, uh so it worked out at five pound for this and this sold for 75 pounds so not too bad at all and funnily enough my parents have just given me the most perfect box for that so that works quite well on to the next one is a deal that i picked up at when i pick it up Fitzwilliam, the last one uh, when I got all the shoes, I also got that big bundle of phones. So this phone, a BT Studio, worked out around about £2. Luckily, I put it in a bag. Uh, so it's a it's in this bag, but it's a BT Studio phone. Just a single handset with the uh, recorder on there, and that sold for £11.65. So not too bad at all. I'll say it again. My bread and butter, like picking those up, but we'll move on. Uh, I'll go on to two. Now, I've already got them out because they were right at the bottom of my golf head cover box. So I've all got this Wilson One Wood Driver head cover and then this Wilson Hybrid. Both cost me 20p. Uh, the Hybrid sold for £8.35 and the One Wood sold for £6.50. Uh, on to the next one, a nice one. So from the day in the life of me, I've got this uh, Jeep hold all in quite reasonable it, there's a few scrapes on it uh, but this is off to France uh, and this cost me a pound and this sold for 33 pound and 5p on to the next one one from our house I think I put it up here it's all relatively quickly but we just weren't using it ring doorbell fully complete has everything in there all the face covers, there's nothing wrong with it. We just weren't like, we just kept forgetting to charge it. So I was just like, oh, can't be bothered with this. Uh, so that's all for 40 quid. On to, I'll come back to that one. So the next one is a beeper massager. And now I've got to work out where I've put it because it was in a box. And then I took it out of the box because I was sorting the garage out. But what box did I put the box back in? That is the question. Find out in a minute. I think it's somewhere. Uh, Beeper Massager. It doesn't have all the heads. Just on its own. I picked this up for a grand total of 20p from my favourite charity shop. Um, so that's sold. It's got the... Needs a plug adapter with it. Um, £4.65. I, I didn't realise it had extra heads that came with it. So I listed it for about... £8.65 uh, and then someone explained to me and sent me some pictures. I dropped the price uh, just to get rid of it because I didn't even know where it was. So what's the point? So next one, Levi's shirt hasn't been here long. So it's just a black standard uh, long sleeve Levi's top. It's an extra large loose fit denim. Quite nice. Uh, I paid a fiver from the charity shop and sold that within two weeks for 13 quid. So not too bad at all. Not too bad at all. One I'm slightly annoyed about, but I'm not going to let it get me down. I'll find it when I don't want it. Anyway, I'm just going to just going to carry on. There's a Bugs Bunny uh, pot, it's Lazy Bugs Bunny or something like that. 
Uh, I picked it up on one of my first videos at Doncaster. I think it was the very first video that I did. Um, if you haven't watched it, go and watch it. My very first one. Camera quality is dreadful. I'm, I'm dreadful in it. I don't, you know, I've got better. I hope. Leave a comment below if you think I've got better since my first video. If you've been there around since then. It's a Bugs Bunny, lazy couch potato, something like that. I didn't realise when I picked it up, picked it up for eight quid. Cracks all over, been glued back together poorly, really bad condition. And I sold it for a fiver, so I'm actually at a loss for that one. This was, what, like I said, one of the first items that I picked up. I'm at a loss for it. It is what it is. I just got rid of it. It was quite a big item. It's not small. Um, but, yeah. Amy will put a picture below because I'm just annoying myself trying to find it. Anyway, I've made a loss on that one, so that's annoying. But I was new to the new to it i just started it weren't yeah just a mistake can't be helped anyway on to a good one the velvet curtains that uh cheryl the pound girl reseller really wanted these green velvet uh 187 centimeter drop curtains uh i got these for one pound fifty so i got both for three quid with i've separated them out because they're big curtains separated them out and put them as door curtains one each so i've sold one pair one one for 45 quid i've just sold this for 40 quid so in total from three quid i'm 85 quid out of it not bad not bad at all next one a pioneer cassette player and i bet it'll be bottom one bet it'll be bottom one i know it's not I'll get that in a minute. One minute. I'll just show you. So it's it's that one, just there. Pioneer cassette player. Anyway, you can't really see it. CT three three three. Just so I'm not I, like I've kept you waiting long enough for this one. Um, got that for two pound ages ago at Old Coats, and that sold for twenty five quid eventually. Another nice one I got from auction. This one thing. So I sold all the silver plate for. £60 that I got from there, left a few things behind, but I knew that this was a good one. This is a silver plate antler horn uh, crumb scoop. Didn't even know, but they, they do normally have a brush. The brush isn't with this. Um, if it was branded, it'd be worth about 50 quid. Unbranded, I've sold it for 25 I'm about two quid into this. So in total, I've, I got the whole tub for about 28 quid. Sold the silver plate straight away for 60 Well in profit, and then this is 25 So not too bad at all. Sorry, Amy's just messaged me. I'll be back in a second. Okay, Sue's back. Sorry. Bad timing, but I had to go. Anyway, uh, Sony Handycam, that's sold. I know where that is. It's up here, look. Is that one? It's the one. Sony Handycam, no battery, untested. Got that in a bu all the bundle of camera lenses, so I'm about 50p to a pound into that. Uh, and that sold for 12 quid. Not too bad at all, really. Not too bad for something untested, anyway. Uh, save that again, save that, because I've got all stuff in there. Good one. A Fitter First balance board. Picked this up a while ago, actually, so it's... It's a circle balance board with like a ball underneath it that you balance on. Anyway, so the charity shop I went in is normally quite expensive. They priced us at two quid. Uh, so picked it up and sold it for 40. I've had it about two months, but still not a bad return. Uh, this one I'm just glad to get rid of. It's quite a big bulky item. So I'm not talking mega money on this one. It would have been if the zips were fine on it. So it's a Peter Black uh, Adidas uh, racket bag for a squash racket or a badminton racket. Zips are knackered on it. Uh, don't work properly. All fraying on. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, all frayed on that side. I paid a fiver for it uh, just with the intentions of getting it fixed. Never got round to it, so I just sold it for a tenner. More than happy for that to go for that tiny bit of profit. It's just, it's like a really large item, so just get rid of that one. Uh, so on to two more that a sub is uh, bought. So one is going to Iona, uh, who follows me on Instagram. She has bought, uh, I don't know, if you follow me on socials a while ago, I picked a skip and picked two big cane chairs out of it, conservatory chairs. 
uh, listed them separately. Uh, so these are completely free, and one has just sold for forty pound. Uh, so that's on its way to Doncaster. I'll put, get Amy to put a picture about here. Did some lovely pictures in front of the AstroTurf. Really nice. Probably some of the best pictures I've ever taken. Um, and then another one that Amy's going to have to put here because I've already shipped it because I needed to get out first class so they could have it. Is going to. Uh, I'll tell you now. My bad. Who's it going to? It's going to Dawn Johnson, uh, who, yeah, anyway, she saw it on the video. It's the Tiffany lampshade that I bought from auction. So I think I were about 16 quid into that, and then this embroidered... Uh, hanging picture that i've got there i haven't listed the embroidered bit yet i'm still like only halfway through the auction stuff uh crazy in here i'm getting a little car boot pile ready for stuff that i don't want to be selling um but so that sold for 30 pound plus the shipping uh i was going to put it up for around about 40 plus shipping but because it's going to a subscriber because she did it before i went on ebay she paid me separately through paypal more than happy uh you know after ebay fees and everything like that you know, and for being a subscriber. So thank you, Dawn, for buying that. Um, we'll go on to the... I've got a new system for clothes, so I'm going to have to dig these out. But I've sold two coats that I picked up on from the previous video. Uh, well, sorry, it might be two videos ago now. depends what Amy's releasing. Uh, <coughs> with the house clearance guy where I spent 130 quid. So two coats have gone for that. Uh, and then also a one of Amy's body warmers. So I'll just get them out. Give me two minutes. So I feel like I've got a bit of explaining to do on this one. So, uh, there was actually four items in this bucket. So I'll go with the two easy ones first. So firstly, one of Amy's, it's a Lee, is it Lee Cooper? Yeah, Lee Cooper uh, body warmer uh, that she had. That sold for 12 quid. Not too bad at all, just sat in the wardrobe doing nothing. Then I sold out of the men's tub. I've got tubs now, everyone. Is this cream, I think it's linen. Linen. Yeah, hundred percent linen. Samuel Windsor suit jacket, over jacket, whatever you want to call it, uh, and that cost me three quid. Slipped up at the, the charity shop. Slipped up in Bridlington. Uh, three quid for that, and that's all for twenty-five. So quite happy at that one. I don't know the pick jackets up, but I did a bit of research. Anyway, on to the next two, the uncontroversial one. Very Pat Butcher. Uh, you'll see me if you follow me on TikTok or Instagram. You'll see my uh, Megan Trainer video. So I hope you enjoyed that one. But this that was just a showcase of the clothes I picked up. They picked this up at the weekend. Uh, I think in total I'm about a fiver into each item that I picked up. So this cost me a fiver, and this just sold for thirty-one quid. So not too bad at all. It's a size, I think it's a size sixteen or eighteen, something like that. Uh, it's 1970s or 80s Astrica of London. Really nice quality, in really good condition. Uh, nice leopard skin, might be leopard, could be cheetah, whatever. Faux. I'll say faux on that one. Anyway, I'll do a bit of explaining. So, this one got me in trouble by one of my subscribers, who has now unsubscribed, unfortunately. Uh, so, this is a... Fur coat. This is Connie fur. Is it Connie? Real C O N E Y. Connie fur. <laughs> Not Connie fur as in the tree. Connie fur. So I did some research and supposedly it's rabbit. Now this is from the 1970s. It's unbranded. It's got a. It's got a leather belt. You know. It, basically, I got told that. <laughs> I'll explain. I, the, I got a comment that said, basically, um, I can't believe you've picked that jacket up. What do you do in your spare time? Do you drown kittens? I'm unsubscribing. Fair enough. Like, I haven't done it to annoy anyone. <laughs> I haven't done it. Most of the fur coats I pick up are faux. I've just picked that up just off a, off a whim. It looked like good quality. It's turned out to be the Connie fur. Whatever you, however you want to pronounce it. If you want to correct me, correct me. Connie fur. Rabbit fur. So it's from the 1970s. So firstly, I'd like to defend myself. Um, is because I don't condone, I will never buy like real animal fur 
coats. I don't do Canadian goose because they kill foxes. I don't do little things like that. <laughs> um, you know, I'm very careful about what I buy. But in this instance, this is from the 1970s. This jacket, if it hadn't, my, my justification is if this hadn't sold, this was going to go to the tip. So is it better that someone else gets reuse out of that coat that unfortunately some animals may have died for? Or would you rather them animals have died for it and then it go into the landfill? Not that I need to justify it. Like, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I, uh, personally, I'm reselling an item that is vintage 1970s. I didn't know until I got home and I'm bringing it back to life and it's being used. I don't know. Let me know your opinions in the comments below. It was a bit of a talking point for me and Amy when we put the video out. Uh, Amy agrees with me. Uh, I don't know. Don't know. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? I don't purposely go out there and do it right fur coat. It needs to be proper fur. I don't do that. Like it's a it's a genuine mistake. It, uh, anyway, I'm a fiver into it, and it sold for how much did it sell for? I've lost me last week. Forty one pound sixty five. So there's a bit of profit in it, backlash from... It's only one comment, to be fair. One comment slightly annoyed me, but it is what it is. Some people have their opinions on that. I don't know. I don't know. Luxury pickers, let me know what you think. Do you pick stuff up that is vintage and is animal fur? I don't know. I don't know what's the what's the what is the go to on that one. I don't I don't know the right answer. I don't know. I know my opinion is I'd rather that be salvaged because I haven't bought it first hand. I haven't I haven't killed the animal. I haven't made that coat and I haven't bought it directly from the dealer who made that coat. This is like probably second or third in line to whoever's had it and it's being reused again, recycling, bringing it back to life. I don't care. Like I'd rather someone be wearing it than it being landfill. 100%. So, it's a bit of a talking point. Leave your opinions below. See what you think. I know there'll be a mixed bag. Didn't do it to annoy anyone. I didn't do it on purpose. It, you know, just picked a load of... But you saw the bundle that I picked up. Like, it was just a case of, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Like, anyway, I'm, I'm going to stop now. Amy will probably get annoyed because I'm trying to justify myself. So, in total... <coughs> Total spend on all that was £56.10p. Total value out of it is £476.85p. Uh, eBay took £57.22p off me. Uh, so in total, profit on that one is £363.53p. If I had the other two on, you know, it's an extra 52 quid that I've got. Quite happy with that. Uh, this I did some packaging Friday night, so this is literally like Friday midnight onwards to, to Monday. So more than happy with that. I had quite a good week last week. So, yeah. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like, hit the subscribe. Oh, one more thing. Sorry, sorry, one more thing. A while ago, I sent a parcel to Portugal, not through global shipping, through my own. It never got there, so I had to refund the buyer for this little TV that he bought, 100 quid. Um, I had to refund it. I then went to Romel and said, you've lost my parcel. They paid me out the £20 limit. I only paid a five for the TV. They paid me £20 plus my £16 odd quid back postage. Guess what? Four months later, it's turned back up. It got rejected at customs. So it's back here now. So, well, but Royal Mail have already paid me for it. So I'm already in profit. So then I'll just sell it on again for another 100 quid. Happy days. Anyway, hope you like this video. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, and over and out from Selling Dan.